Okay, thank you for joining us this evening for a presentation regarding the Village of Lima's uh, Community Choice Aggregation Program. Um, we have uh, John Waddock uh, with us, Deputy Mayor. Would you like to kick us off by saying a few words? Uh, sure. Uh, you know, it, the process of, of moving to our community solar and community choice aggregation um, it's been a process that the Village of Lima has been undertaking for over four years. Uh, it's taken uh, a lot of work, especially by Rocktricity and Jewel Assets, uh, to go through the regulatory um, uh, process through the state that would make these, um, th these programs uh, available to us. Uh, so we're really excited. Uh, the first one that came on board, um, uh, we, uh, you know, opted in pretty quickly was the community solar uh, portion, which uh, brings uh, uh, solar credits onto your national grid bill. So Village of Lima residents will um, save up to 10%, but you know, it depends on the given month. So perhaps we could say eight to 10% typically uh, are pure savings and supporting uh, community solar and the solar arrays that will be largely supplying the Village of Lima are local and small scale. Uh, the second part that is a little bit newer and we're really excited about is uh, the supply side or known as community choice aggregation. So right now, um, you know, you go out and if you're a national grid uh, a customer and you have not chosen a supplier, then uh, by state law or state regulations, uh, National Grid is your, what's called the default supplier. So that's who you, uh, you essentially buy your electricity from. Um, this program CCA would allow the village of Lima to combine all the buying power of everyone in the village of Lima with the, the residents of the village of uh, Brockport and Honey Eye Falls to then negotiate and have a larger buying power than any individual would have and to, to get some products that include uh, you know, renewable generated electricity at uh, hopefully substantially uh, lower rates than you could get on your own. So um, it's a way of, of saving us money and also uh, you know, decreasing the, the carbon footprint that we all have associated with electrical usage. So uh, been a lot of work by Rectricity and Jewel Assets and uh, um, you know, Lima was one of the first to, to partner into it. Uh, we could see that it was gonna be a good deal. So uh, we've been very happy thus far. Great, thank you so much, John. Uh, appreciate those words, Deputy Mayor. And um, so I'm Susan Hughes-Smith, and this evening we'll just review kind of the key components of the Finger Lakes Community Choice Program. So just if you haven't used Zoom before, which at this point is probably would be surprising, but if you haven't, your microphone and camera will be off during this presentation, but you will be able to ask a question and you can use the Q&A feature. Um, you might hold those questions till the end of the presentation in case I answer them along the way. But um, if you just move your cursor, usually the top or bottom of your screen, you should see a pop-up menu and the Q&A button, where if you click that, you should then be able to type in a question. Okay, so um, welcome everyone to the Finger Lakes Community Choice Clean Energy Choices presentation. My name is Susan Hughes Smith and I am from Rocktricity. And uh, we are a small business located in Rochester. I have uh, four other uh, team members, Margie Peet, Benjamin Freever, Melissa Carlson, and Shannon Bellamy. And, um, and this is a partnership between the Village of Lima and Jewel Community Power, who is the New York State approved uh, administrator for this type of program and whom the Village of Lima selected to be the, um, the energy manager or administrator. And then Rocktricity, um, our, our company is the local program manager. So we are a subcontractor to Jewel Assets and we live right up the road uh, from you. 
So clean energy and lower costs are coming to the village of Lima residents. This is a nation leading program. It has not been implemented anywhere else in the entire country and Lima is leading the way. So this evening, we're going to review the Community Choice Energy Program that has two different elements to it. And both elements support local renewable energy, enable uh, customers to gain access to guaranteed savings on electricity bills. And you can follow uh, updates or look for further information at the website, fingerlakescommunitychoice.com. So what to expect this evening? A brief overview of community choice, the elements of community choice and the benefits of the program, who will be automatically included, and then the next steps, what will happen next. Before I get into that, let's just quickly review what is happening on our electric grid and the role of the different players. So we have, of course, generators of electricity. Most of them are very large, like hydropower plants or the nuclear power plants or fossil fuel generation. And then they are putting electrons onto the grid. And that's kind of shown with the yellow line there is the flow of electrons. And the utilities, national grid in your case, is responsible for making sure the electrons get to our homes and small businesses and schools and so forth. The role of a national grid is not changing in the community choice program, okay? So in New York State, they are a distribution utility. They deliver the electrons to us. And if there's an outage, you still call national grid. Your bill will still come from National Grid. Their role is not changing. Okay, most of us are familiar though with our bill. And when we pay our bill, we notice that there's both electric supply and electric delivery. When you pay the supply portion, that's for the electrons themselves. And although we pay one bill to the utility, National Grid then passes more money on to the generators of the electrons or the brokers who are acting as the intermediary. And that's true whether National Grid is listed as your supplier or if you've chosen a, an energy company uh, independently. Okay, so it's the, the purchasing of those electrons. And of course, the work that National Grid does is paid for through those delivery charges. So that usually the first section on your, on your bill is the delivery charges. And that's the money that uh, National Grid uses to take care of the, the lines and the wires and the billing and so forth. And that goes unchanged with community choice. And so just a brief reminder, there you go. So there's a bill, we've got the delivery services, those are the charges that are set by the New York State Public Service Commission and that uh, are staying with National Grid to cover the cost of their services. Then the supply services, that's the part of the bill that will change under community choice. Instead of it saying supplier National Grid, there'll be a, a new name there, whichever the winning energy company is, and it's likely that this section of the bill will be relocated further into the, the pages of your national grid bill. But it's not an extra charge, it will be a substitution. So instead of paying national grid for the electrons, that um, money will be directed to a particular, the winning uh, bidder for the supply. So again, if we look at the picture all put together, we've got the yellow line showing the electrons flowing from the generators to the consumers, and the green line showing the flow of money uh, back from the consumers to the utility and the brokers. So what happens when we add community choice? Well, we hope that we begin to shrink those traditional energy generators, particularly the fossil fuel companies, and we begin to see more growth of renewable generation. And that all those electrons come onto the grid, flowing in our wires, 
coming into our homes and businesses. We can't tell where those electrons have come from. Um, and so what we do is to influence generation is direct our purchasing habits. And that's what community choice does. It directs our purchasing to support renewable generation in a cost-effective way, and therefore hoping to uh, change the generation patterns in the state. Okay, so community choice aggregation. That's the formal title or name that the Public Service Commission uh, uses for these types of programs. And it's a policy created by the state that enables municipalities to determine the default energy offerings, including electric supply and community choice solar on behalf of residents and small businesses. So again, this policy gives power or authority to municipalities. The village of Lima went through a process to review this program, to then uh, look at the uh, sample laws, to craft a law, held a public hearing, and then passed a local enabling law a couple years ago now. Um, and this, this program is also highly regulated by the New York State Public Service Commission, uh, just like all the rest of our energy um, programs across the state. Okay, it's a highly regulated business. Okay, so community choice, this policy is giving municipalities the ability to determine the default energy offering. So it doesn't remove any choices that you currently have. It gives you a new choice. National Grid and New York State right now determine those default energy offerings. Community choice allows local decision-making. And everyone who's eligible will receive the default offering unless you choose to not participate, which is called opting out, or you choose a different uh, option that may be available which might be called opting down. So a uh, community choice in the village of Lima may have two components. The community choice electric supply directs the purchasing of electricity. And that's what we're typically think about. It's that per kilowatt rate of electricity. The electrons that are coming in your home or business day or night what rate are you paying for those electrons? Then of course, the Community Choice Solar, that's the national leading program that's gonna be available in the very first place in the village of Lima. And that instructs the utility to purchase solar energy that's being generated near us in the amount uh, close to what you're consuming. And then you are guaranteed savings in the form of bill credits and those bill credits will be listed on your national grid bill. So community choice electric supply will, as I said, impact your per kilowatt rate for electrons. And we hope there will be an option for 100% New York State renewable generation. It will also be a fixed rate. If National Grid or any utility in New York State is the default purchaser of electricity, they have to just pass those costs on to consumers. And each month, the price of electricity varies. It might vary a lot, it might vary a little, um, but it goes up and down throughout the, the year. The Community Choice Program will have one fixed rate that will provide a benefit of a stable price to consumers. In addition, the Community Choice Solar provides support to local solar farms and local economic development and will help New York State achieve its goals uh, under the very ambitious Climate Leadership and Community Protection Act. Finally, this policy for community choice is really structured to enable residents and small businesses to pool energy demand and influence the market. 
the eligibility for those residents and small businesses will vary depending on whether we're talking about the supply or the solar, but anyone can choose to not participate or to just participate in one or both programs. Those choices ultimately are up to you. You can leave at any time with no penalty, but of course, we hope that you'll see the advantages and decide to stay with the program. So the benefits are that we are helping to reduce New York State carbon emissions. That, of course, will be good for all of us, uh, both by reducing pollution and by reducing um, the greenhouse gases impact on the long term. There are significant consumer protections. I don't know about you, but my family's gotten taken advantage of once or twice by an energy company. So we are really thrilled to know that our community choice aggregation program was negotiated by a consultant who wanted to protect consumer interests. There is only one bill. So the electric supply and the solar credits will be on your national grid bill. So community choice uh, gives us access to more affordably priced renewable electricity. And that's the power of aggregating the energy demand, right? As you or I as an individual in the marketplace don't have much influence, but when we're talking about hundreds of people purchasing together, then we're able to command a better price for that product. And again, the reduced price volatility through fixed rate contracts, we think is a benefit to consumers. And the community choice solar, that is a guaranteed savings as a result of the way the state of New York has structured community solar programs. In addition, there are benefits for the entire community. There are programs through NYSERDA, right? New York State grant money that by creating these community choice programs will help the village of Lima qualify for that grant, grant money. And in addition, the uh, energy manager or administrator, Jewel Community Power, also creates a sustainability fund. And um, that's the result of, of some contract details between the solar developers and Jewel. And that fund then will deliver money to the village to use in another sustainability project. A lot of people wonder if they will be automatically included. And if you're eligible, you will be automatically included in one or both of these programs. Those details will become clear through a letter that you will receive in the coming weeks. But just as a quick review, this is always your choice to participate. If you uh, want to participate in the Community Choice Electric Supply, you will automatically be included if you're not a HEAP recipient or a Utility Assistance Program uh, recipient, and if you haven't already um, selected an energy service company. You will automatically be included in the Community Choice Solar Program if you don't have rooftop solar and if you are not already participating in a Community Solar Program. In addition, you of course have to live in the village of Lima in order to participate and there needs to not be a block on your national grid account. And I point that out because um, as we've implemented programs in other communities, we've discovered that sometimes consumers have placed a block on their account so long ago that they've forgotten that they have one. So um, that's just something to be aware of. So community choice electric supply. Here we are looking at the bill once again. And I just want to point out and remind you that the supply portion is only affecting the actual cost of the electrons. Typically, this is the smaller part of our electric bill. 
whereas the charges to the utility are um, a greater percentage of the electric bill. In addition, so that part of the bill will probably move further into your national grid bill. And then the other section uh, is towards the bottom of your bill under other charges or adjustments. This is where the community choice solar savings will be displayed. And it will be labeled, uh, as of right now, it will be labeled as a transfer credit. And you will see a negative dollar value associated with that. So what happens next? Right now, we are in this first phase of community education. And if you follow the Finger Lakes Community Choice uh, Facebook page, you will see occasional social media posts, communicating information about uh, community choice programs. After the electric bids are received, there will be more education that includes the specific details of the price, the term length, savings, and the source of generation. Okay, so right now, a um, electric supply bid is out in the open market, in the wholesale electric market. And uh, around June 1st, we expect those bids to be returned. It's a competitive process. And we'll see if there is a, a offer that the village of Lima thinks is a, a good value and that they want to move forward with. Assuming that they get a good price, we will give a presentation and then you will be uh, mailed a letter. That letter will come in the mail. It will be on the village of Lima letterhead. And it will go to anyone who's an eligible resident or small business. And you will, you will look carefully at the letter to see if you are eligible for the community supply and the community solar or just one of those programs. The price, the term, the savings, and the source of the electricity will all be described in that letter and in the presentations. We will also um, advertise in that letter another meeting date where um, my team will review those price details. You will also receive program frequently asked questions along with their frequently answered answers and uh, what to do if you don't wanna participate. That's called opting out. And we aim to make that very simple. There'll be a card that you can return in the mail that if we receive it within those uh, first 30 days, you would just not ever enter into the program. Or you can call us, we can answer your questions, help explain anything that's confusing to you. Uh, and then if you choose to opt out, the folks uh, at, at My Business Rectricity are happy to help you. And I will show you our phone number in just a minute. Okay, so that's Finger Lakes Community Choice. And we have just a couple of uh, frequently asked questions that I thought we would review first, and then we'll turn it over to the community and what questions you may have. So what are your options if you don't wanna participate in community choice? Well, you can stay with National Grid as your supplier, choose an energy company of your own uh, accord, or you can stay in the community choice program. This is just one more possibility for you to consider. Can you opt in if you already have a third party supplier? Absolutely you can. You would want to first check your contract uh, that you already have and make sure uh, you know if there's a charge to leave that contract or not. I know for my family, our contract didn't have a charge. So we simply called our utility. We said we would like to be returned to the utility service. They sent us a letter told us we were you know, no longer with that other third party supplier. And then once I saw our utility back on our um, bill, then I called myself <laughs> at Rectricity and opted myself into our community choice program. 
can you opt in if you're already enrolled in another community solar program? Well, you can. Here again, you would have to exit the program that you're in in order to join the new program. And that may or may not be of interest to you depending upon the details of the program you're already enrolled in. If you're happy, no reason necessarily to switch. Will your enrollment impact the reliability of your electricity? Absolutely not. Because remember, these programs really are about where we're directing our purchase. There are electrons flowing on the grid all the time, and it is National Grid's responsibility to ensure reliability. Uh, and so not to be concerned at all about that. Why can municipal governments make this decision uh, on our behalf? Well, that's the way New York State has designed this program. That's why it's called opt out. Uh, and they're not the first state to do, to do this, but structuring the program in this way increases participation and that's kind of the goal. So New York State is, uh, is the reason why the municipal governments can take this action. Will I get two bills? Absolutely not. That's the great news, is that National Grid will have all this information on your single utility bill. Okay, so those are our frequently asked questions. And you can reach out to us at Rocktricity, you know, business hours most days. 585-244-0244. You can also send us an email if you prefer at info at fingerlakescommunitychoice.com. We are happy to answer your questions and, and explain anything that seems uh, confusing to you. All right, other questions from our participants. Okay, David, bottom line, will I see a reduction in my electric bill? I'm currently with National Grid and not purchasing any green energy at the moment. I understand this program will reduce the cost of purchasing green energy. I'm wondering if I will experience a net increase in my bills. That is an excellent question. So what I can tell you for certain today is if you participate in the Community Choice Solar Program, you will absolutely see a reduction in your electricity costs um, of about eight to 10% annually. And that's off of both the total electric bill, both delivery and, and supply, just the way that program is structured. So the community solar is a guaranteed savings. The electric supply, I can't answer your question yet because the contract hasn't been finalized. We're currently out to bid for that price. And um, when I talk to you again, or someone from my team talks to you again in June, we should be able to have a better answer uh, on that electric supply part. But be sure that the solar program is a guaranteed savings. Other questions? Sue, so, uh, this is John. Uh, that uh, credit for the solar being called just transfer credit, <laughs> is that, I know a lot went into being able to put that credit on a single bill and I appreciate that, but it could just be called solar credit, but I know that National Grid has complete control over that, but it just is a kind of an odd, Nomer, there uh, a name yeah. for it. Well, I, I completely agree with you, John. <laughs> and in different utilities, they have different names for that for that credit. And we would love to see the Public Service Commission standardize it as something simple like community solar credit. Okay. But, um, when the the program gets implemented, I, I believe that you know we'll work with Rocktricity to educate people that the transfer credit on their bill is that's coming from the uh, community solar if they're participating. So that's great. Um, one question I had, kind of related to just my own bill, is you know I have um, uh, National Grid as a supplier, and I have renewable service through uh, you know so I have the regular. Uh, kilowatt hours, and then there's an additional charge for renewable service. Mm -hmm. Now, does does this mean I would I would be able to 
automatically get in the program since the overarching thing is national grid the fact that it's a, a some choice that national grid has doesn't make any difference i think i think uh i'm not possible i'm understanding your question john are you asking well if, what what i would i have to opt in to the um oh the i see supply what you're no, you should not have to opt okay. in. You should be automatically included. Okay. National okay. grid is listed as your supplier. Okay, yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. I, there are some programs. I know um, where I live, our genie had a catch the wind program or still does, mm -hmm. where I paid extra for wind energy. Okay. Uh -huh. But um, yeah, yeah, that that didn't replace them as my supplier. So I, I was still gotcha. uh, will be automatically included. Mm. Okay. That's all I have, thanks. Great question. All right, are there any questions coming through uh, the Facebook um, streaming? I don't know if my Rocktricity members have- seen. No, there no, there aren't. All right, well, if there are no further questions, I wanna thank everybody for joining us this evening. Nice to see um a, a dozen community members uh, spend a little time with us and we look forward to speaking with you and explaining the price details in june so have a wonderful evening <laughs>